hospital yeah. too. So yeah, big delays. Yeah, we're going to check with uh, Kenny Lopez now. He's out where the wreck happened. Kenny. Susan and Tyler, yes, it's been a headache for everyone all day long, but I really want to bring to you the sights of the scene. This is a piece of a bumper from one of the cars. This is the styrofoam. No metal here, so it took a lot of pressure to take off the metal and see the inside of a bumper. And we got some tire tread right here, also completely ripped off. And then another piece, a reflector that came from the road. You can still see the asphalt on it. So this accident was very bad. 40 cars were involved in the pileup, 22 people injured, and two unfortunately died. Let's take a look at what it looks like right now. This is westbound Interstate 10. They were sanding it earlier. They're making it clear for drivers. It is still closed right now, but they do plan to open it in the next 30 minutes. You can still see tow truck drivers cleaning up the last bits of it, and police are there just making sure that everything goes smoothly. So good news, though, on the eastbound side of Interstate 10, it is now open. It opened up about 3.30 today, traffic is flowing. But let's, let's look at some video shot earlier today from photojournalist Ethan Broussard. You're looking at the silver sedan all banged up underneath an 18-wheeler semi. Now you would think this guy died, but we talked to the driver and luckily he did survive. He walked away without any scratches. He told us he was just a little sore and needed some Tylenol. But sadly, as I mentioned, two men did die. One a 54-year-old from Springfield, the other man from Slidell. All day long, it's been a long process, and towing crews finally were able to go in after the cops investigated and get things cleared up around noon. So I just got done talking to state police, and they say that what caused this major pile up was there was fog early this morning, and then smoke was coming, fumes were coming from all the cars, all the clusters, all the mangled mess, and so that caused more problems. And there are no lights in the area, so that also contributed to the damage. And Susan and Tyler, I want to tell you, I was out here er earlier this morning, and what it looked like when I was a little kid, I used to play with those matchbox toy cars, and you know how some of them would be flipped over, they were all into each other, and that's what it reminded me of, only that was all fun and games. This was definitely not, it was very dangerous and sad for a lot of people and caused a headache for a lot of people. Back to you guys in the studio. Absolutely, thanks Kenny. Yeah, and we're gonna have more no fog, problems. and so let this be, in the a, morning, yeah. be a warning.